Right, I've had quite a busy year. I've had quite a busy year. Earlier on um, in May, I got myself married. Thank you very much. She liked it. She put a ring on it. Yeah. Give a chief you're married. Give a chief you're not married. Oh, we sound so much fucking happier. Oh, it's fucking terrifying, man. Jesus. But I, I would have thought that new wives would use their new husbands to like try out all kind of like sexual fantasies and all that. Not mine. Mine uses me to skip cues with. <laughs> She's fucking terrible for it. <laughs> no matter how small a queue is, if we come up against one, she'll thrust me and my white stick at it. Like a police badge at a murder seat. Fucking move, move, blind fucking move, move. Hey. And I'm not saying that my wife's a gold digger, right? Because I do this for a living, there's no fucking gold. She is, however, a concession digger. She is loving the perks of being married to this shit, right? She gets a third off her train tickets now. Her new companion pass. Fucking blue badge, we part what we like. <laughs> and a half price TV license. Makes perfect sense if you think about it. My wife is living the para la vida loca. There you go. Hey. And she, she's entitled. She's entitled to something else that I did not realise until after we were married, right? No joke, she'd been married to me. Entitles my wife every year to two weeks council funded respite. Yeah, that nips at the old pride of it. <laughs> Fucking hell. What it means is if I piss her off, all she's got to do is phone Glasgow City Council. <laughs> Say she's a stressed out carer. And boom. That mad minibus with the balloons turns up. Suddenly I'm fucking spending Christmas basket weaving in the Highlands. 